Okay, so quack quack, we're checking on the duck eggs today. It's day seven. Tomorrow will be day eight, which is actually when I'm going to add the chicken eggs. But we want to, I wanted to definitely get these candled at day seven. So we're going to go through them. I'm not going to be upset if I have some quitters. Um, first time hatching duck eggs, yada, yada, yada. So just to remind y'all of this process, every time I open this thing, it's going to get a beep, beep, beep. I apologize. It's the heat sensor in there. So let's uh, just start out. I'm also interested in how duck eggs are going to candle because, well, some of them are quite caked with mud and poop. So here we go. On the air sac. See the air sac right there? It's about what it looks like it should be. So we got the veins. That little spot right there is the little ducky. And you see it moving around and fluttering. That's fun, huh? So you see where just to some of those who don't remember me candling before. This will pretty much be all filled with duck at some point. That air sac, it's, you know, I'm keeping it at right about 5% humidity. Let me turn it over so we can get it. Um, I may lower it a little bit because I'd like a bigger air sac personally. So. Let's get some of these really dirty ones out of the way. Okay, so I can see through it fine. And this does not have a little ducky in it. No. So that one we're going to take out. So to the side. This is one that was on the outside. I don't know if y'all watched my last video. I have a cheap incubator that does have drafts. So could it not be fertile? That one, the one I just checked didn't look necessarily like it was had been fertile. And this one looks the same and it was also on the outside. This one actually looks like it almost has a crack in it. Hmm. Okay, so we got one good one so far. Okay, let's see. Oh lord, I can't even see through, oh. Alright, you see all this gookiness? Yuck. That is... Possibly was one, but is a quitter. So we're going to set that one to the side. Okay. Uh-oh, that's a good one. That's a nice clean one, too. So we have the air sac at the bottom again. Uh, that air sac looks better. It's funny how that some air sacs are better. I'm going to zoom in on this one a little bit. I've got this thing in tight. I'll have to... There we go. So, that right there is the baby duck. There's a slightly darker spot that is actually the eyeball, which is neat. So all these veins is what you want to see. So that one's good. So we got two good, three bad. It's not, not a great start, is it? Okay. And this is a, look at that. See, this definitely had one in it, and it quit on me. And see, we call that a blood ring, and that's where it quits. So we have four no's out of ten. Not great odds. This one's pretty yucky, too. Oh, there we go. It's right in the dirty spot. I don't know if y'all can see. But I do have veins. And I have the little ducky right there. 
y'all see it? It's really cool, isn't it? Candling is my absolute favorite. Okay, so once again, we're always kind of keeping an eye on this air sac. That's this one's about perfect for the time. Eventually, the air sac will be a lot bigger, and that air sac is actually where they're going to take their very first breath. That's what's really neat about it. So, if you have a too little one, they can actually drown at birth. If you uh, if yours is too big, you're going to have basically like a dry birth, but it'd be a dry hatching, and it's a lot harder on them. So this one's not fluttering around as much as the other one, but it's still viable right now. So that's good. This is a good one. I right, just saw it flutter. So we got the air sac. We got the little baby duck. We got all the veining. That's really good. So this one's a good one. There it is over here. So, once again we have, there's the duck. We have the veining. Let's see what this air sac it looks like. Okay. That's good. Alright. So we've got six viable eggs that will hopefully be duckies. So I said I wanted 50%. If all these make it, I will be technically above what I wanted, what my expectation was. So, but if we lose one between now and then, I'll be right at what my expectation is. So, still no worries, even though, even though you know kind of what your own success success hatch rate is, it's still disappointing when you have some that just. I one of those I'm pretty sure was not even was not fertile, and then it looked like I have three quitters. So, there's that. Okay, so what's next now? So what's next? See, I, I like to cover my... Hold on, let me turn the eggs. Okay, I'll, I'll put a blanket over just because, like I said, I know my incubator is cheap and it's drafty. So, we got six eggs in there. I will add the chicken eggs tomorrow. I will tell you one thing. This is my first duck hatching and the duck eggs do not make the incubator smell very good and I assume it's because of all the mud and stuff caked on and keeping the humidity a little bit higher um, so there's that uh, I did I had like a massacre at my chickens this morning well sometime last night and um, one of the victims was my little Kez chick she um, I have some flighty birds that like to jump out and the, and I've got a chicken hawk right now and uh, she jumped out of the covered area um, and then she her and a few other hens ended up being massacred uh, Kaz was on her way up to being my second Bojangles she's absolutely who I thought would replace Bojangles when Bojangles passes um, so this is a hard one for me. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm probably, I hate this hawk. I really want to kill it. Uh, so that may be taking place soon. But we are also thinking about moving the chickens a little closer to the house to help, you know, to help with the predator situation because uh, they're good. They're far enough away from the house that the predators aren't scared. So we're gonna be working on that in the future, but. 
the thing about Kez, um, when I went down there and found her this morning, she had laid an egg recently right beside where I found her. Um, part of me wonders if she was like protecting her egg. I don't know. But even though I said that I was not going to be hatching any bantams this go round, I'm definitely going to be hatching that egg. That will be Kez Chick's egg. Um, the person Kez Chick, that is. And I don't know if she'll want to name this one Kez Chick or if she'll want to name a new one. But um, it's it hurts my feelings to have to tell y'all sometimes when a chicken passes that y'all have named. But unfortunately, it's just life. Um, but Kez knows, and I told her, and she, you know, she I think she was upset also, but she she's you know understood. And I think she's also delighted that we have a Kez egg that we will be putting in tomorrow. So, fingers crossed on that. And besides that, I'll be doing um, probably maybe six olive eggers and three Lindsay Lohans and three Mike Flockins. And um, we will do some candling with that. Um, I will probably wait and edit this video to when I can show y'all me putting the chicken eggs in. So quack quack for now and I'll say cluck cluck when I come back. Okay so cluck cluck chicken lady here. Um, was in the middle of doing all my morning stuff and I was like oh I gotta get those eggs in and get this video out. So here we go. So this is gonna I'm gonna put it in a very strategic spot. It's got a K on it. This is our Kez egg. And I'm not sure what I said I was going to do last night, but this morning I've decided I'm going to do three Lindsay's, three Mike Flockins, and four Olive Eggers. So I'm going to put some of Lindsay's in strategic spots where I want them to definitely hatch. Okay. Now some Mike Flockins. Now I'm going to tell you right now that, um, if I do it this way, I haven't had too many problems with the olive eggers hatching, so I think no matter where I'll put them, they'll hatch, but I will put some, one or two in the center. Sorry, Pony. This morning, I put on some Pilot Mountain Bobcats. If you're from my area, you know who they are. Alright. There we go. Oh, and I forgot. Can y'all see what the... There we go. Hers are so little that I have to hatch. I just have to at least try. So, I am going to move something else around. Oh, I'll have to put on a smaller rack. I'll put one of my clockins over there. There we go. Full incubator, right? Now, remember, once we get to day five, we'll candle our chicken legs, and we're like Chicken legs? Chicken eggs, and we're likely to... We're likely to lose some. As long as that one is not lost, I'll be okay. That's Kez's egg, and I won't be able to get any more from her. And this is just me squirting water in here to for the humidity. Once I close it, it'll be start raising. My cat Capone is not used to me working in this area. I'm going to tuck this up underneath here because remember how the outside uh, last night when I candled the last the outside ones were the ones that didn't do well so I'm going to tuck that in real good sometimes I put a heating mat underneath this um, incubator but when I do I really have to watch it because sometimes it gets too hot then so cluck cluck uh Oh, I, ju I just looked at the date. The first day of spring is when these should hatch. How perfect is that? That wasn't planned. 
it's just uh, a happy coincidence. So, cluck, cluck, keep, I will probably do some candling at least by this weekend. So, just keep an eye out for that. Uh, I'll be doing a flaunting with the flock soon, hopefully. And, let's see, there's something else coming up that I definitely wanted to film. Oh, oh the hatching, of course. So, and I'm not going to live stream it, but what we might do is a premiere where I videotape the whole thing. And then it's live so you can talk. And that way we can, uh, you can watch it in your own time. So, cluck, cluck, everybody. I will see y'all later.